Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a video tutorial. On this one, we're going to be showing you how to uninstall the Windows login and lock screen. All right, so this is fairly simple. We're going to only have to do two modifications. And first things first, what you want to do is you want to hover over your start icon on the Windows desktop, which is on the bottom left, this little icon right over here. Either you can left click, it's going to show you applications. What you're going to want to do is click on the gear. Now, let's say if you right click, you can also go to settings. Either one will work. Click on that. Now, once you do that, a window is going to open up and it's going to show you Windows settings. Now, the icon that we're going to be looking for is accounts. It says accounts, your accounts, email, sync, work, family. Now, let's say if you don't see this option right here, what you can do is head on to the top where you see find a setting, type in accounts, and it's going to give you a bunch of options. The option we're going to be looking for is sign in options. Now, let's say if you don't see this here, click on show all results and you'll see it right there. Sign in options. Click on that. All right. So once this opens up, we're going to scroll down just a little bit. You're going to look for require sign in. Now, what this means is if you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in? Now, we want to turn off this feature. So you want to make sure that it's set to never. Now, I've already done this before. Now, most likely you might be seeing it say when PC wakes up from sleep. Now, you want to change that to never. And then close out that window. All right. So the first step is done. Now, what we're going to want to do is look for a specific uh, option. So what you're going to want to do is head on over to the Windows search icon, which is on the bottom left, right next to the start menu. Um, if, let's say if you don't have this on the bottom bar of your desktop, just right click right on the top. You're going to see search and make sure you have checked show search icon. That way you can have this represented right there. All right. So we're going to click on that. We're going to type in N. E T P L W I Z. Once we do that, it's going to show you a picture of two people, a female, a guy, a key, and it's going to say run command. Now I would advise clicking on uh, run as administrator, but if you don't have that, either one will work. Click on that. Now, once you do that, it's going to open up another window. It's going to save user accounts. Now we're going to be on the first tab. Now, most likely for you, it's going to have this checked. What you want to do is make sure that you have it unchecked. So make sure it looks like this. Click apply. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to put in your original password. Now, this is not going to be the four digit pin. You have to put in your original password or else this won't work. As soon as Windows tries to sign you in, it's going to know that the password is wrong and it's just going to default right back to you having to put in your password to log in. So make sure you type this in correctly. Put in your password two times. Click OK. Click OK again. And what you want to do is highlight over the Windows icon. Uh, restart or shut down and as soon as you boot up it should lock you in right to your desktop so if you guys like the video hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching